instrument. I mean, for mere mortals like ourselves, there's only one place to start. Uh, Mutalama, let me ask you, what, what happened? Asin. On Friday evening, how did you lose his vote? Well, uh, let me say good evening to you, good evening to my brother and comrade, and good evening to my kid brother and a lecturer. You know, Dr. Alidu is my lecturer at the Podcast Science Department. And good evening to your cherished viewers and most important to the good people of Tamale Center. And permit me to say Ramadan Mubarak. We are in the holy month of Ramadan. Well, I think that this question has been asked to me and I believe to Kofi and many of our colleagues, you know, ever since we had the elections of the, or the approval of the nominees of the president. The MDC took a principal position. Our position resonated with the majority of the people of this country. I believe including your good, good self, because I do know that multimedia position was also that we needed to do everything possible to cut the expenditure of government. That position resonate, resonated, if you like, with that of CDD, that of Imani, that of the IMF, and many other civil society organizations who <coughs> felt that government needed to cut the size of government because of the over bloated expenditure. So it was not just an exclusive NDC position. It was a position that many Ghanaians felt that it was the most appropriate position to take. So we had an opportunity as a caucus in parliament. We do know and we knew that our numbers were not up to the numbers of the NPP, considering the state of affairs in parliament today. But we were going into the elections with one objective, that we needed to have our 136 members counted. It doesn't matter what happened, whether the MPP was able to galvanize all their supporters to vote for the approval of the ministers. As long as we had a 136, that would have been comforting to us. Unfortunately, as a secret ballot, that didn't happen. I want to state that there was broader consultation. The caucus, the leadership had consultations with us. The party leadership engaged us and reiterating the same point has, as has been reiterated by all the civil society organizations and other you know, media groupings that are indicated earlier. Unfortunately, you cannot tell because it's, 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 it's an individual and his creator. You get into the you know, polling booth, you go and vote. One would expect that people would have done what was supposed to be done because we are the people's representatives. In those consultations, was there general agreement that we should all vote? Yes, there was. Like I said, there was... Nobody objected? No, there was broader consultation, and the consultation was not only limited within the ranks of our caucus. The leadership engaged us. The party leadership engaged us. If anybody had any reservation, that same person would have raised that. And nobody, nobody, nobody did that. Okay. And you could sense, you know, I had, I engaged yeah, your, yeah, your, yeah, yeah. your journalist engagement. Yes, yes. I was very confident that we were going to have a 136. Based and on the outcome of those on the outcome of the engagement, on the engagement. And, and most importantly, the MPP had two of their members not present. Joseph was not present. One of our colleagues, Philip Basua, Basua, Basua was, I didn't want to mention yeah. the name, was also because he felt, I'm told that there was something health-wise. Yes. Wasn't yeah. That day, the majority leader announced, announced that, that he wasn't there. Yes. So we're going to have 136. And per the standing orders of parliament, any voting that has a tie on a matter such as this, that voting will be deemed to fail. So at that time, the NPP was reduced to 136, and per 136 number were also 136. So the, our expectations were very high, that if we vote and we get a 136, the NPP, assuming that all the NPP members voted for the approval and all NDC members voted for you know, disapproval, we would have had the nominees the move. But you see, the dynamics in this, if you ask me as to why people voted the way they voted, I may not be able to tell. One thing I can hazard a guess, based on, on the experience in the past and some of the information that people have, there are several factors. My, and let me state, my, my PhD thesis is actually on, on committees of parliament, and I have engaged members of parliament. It will not be appropriate a system of this. Maybe within some few months, as I'm able to defend you publish you publish, your, publish your findings, it. Yeah. And it will be interesting, you know, what influences decisions that, what influences decisions of members of parliament. Very, very, very interesting because of some of the members of parliament I have, I have engaged. And it's just unfortunate. The NDC did not fail or we did not let down only the NDC members and our, our team and masses. 
we let down majority of the people of this country because people expectation was that if even we got the 136 voting and rejection of the ministers we would have sent a signal to this government that the people of this this country you know resent the attempt of government to do what they did